Now, don't ask me why, but when it comes to men and men's style, for some reason, jeans are one of the most comfortable things to shop for, which completely sucks because, well, this is a staple in every guy. It's a basic and the one thing you're probably going to be using all the time. So in efforts that you don't look like your dad or a teenage sausage with a small package, today I'm going to teach you how jeans should properly fit your body, which will not only make you look more attractive, but also be more versatile so you can wear those jeans, whether in streetwear, casual, or dressy scenarios. So if that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. Let's start from the top to the bottom. The first fit you're going to want to make sure you nail down is your waist. Now, your waist will usually sit a little bit lower on your hips than a regular trouser will. You want this area to be nice and snug and fit to the point that you don't have to wear a belt and your pants will still stay up. The second fit you're going to want to get right is your rise or your crotch area. There are three main rise fits for men which is the high rise, the medium rise, and the low rise. As for which one you should pick, well it's actually pretty simple. High rise, it's almost always a no-go because well you're going to look like a mom. The low rise, also a no-go because you're, it's almost always going to look way too feminine with your jeans sitting at or below your head. Hips. And finally, you have mid-rise, which is exactly what you're looking for. They're going to sit right below your waist, and they're going to fit nice and tight to the point that they won't be sagging down. Number three, your hips and butt. The first and most important rule here is that there should be no sagging or look like you're wearing some sort of diaper. And trust me, getting the butt region, it's important because women, they love to see men with a little junk in the trunk, with men that can fill in the pants. So when you put on jeans, check them out and make sure they fit snugly around your butt region so it doesn't look like it's droopy or saggy. Also, pro tip, hit the squat machine and just watch how much better you're going to look in pants all around. But you want to know what else women love? When you wear jewelry. From our sponsor, rose gold and black of course because well it just shows you're a man that's confident in your style you don't care what the status quo is you don't care if other men aren't wearing jewelry you wear it because it makes you look stylish and you look damn good in it but all in all we just want to thank rose gold and black because obviously they're a sponsor of our channel and they support our channel and they help us keep producing content so it's a brand that i love promoting to you guys because a i know it makes you look good b it's amazing quality i've been using and working with them for over two years now so i can attest to how good their stuff is and c like I said, they're a massive support to the channel that helps us keep producing content for you guys so you can look better. So if you want to support the channel well, and help us grow and keep going, you got to check out our sponsor, Rose Gold and Black. That to me is an amazing brand and one that I can 100% back. Rose Gold and Black is a men's accessory brand that honestly completely kills it when it comes to jewelry for men, covering almost every type of jewelry you can think of. They first, and to see their growth is amazing because they first started with bracelets and their bracelets, they're amazing. Everything from leather other bracelets to beaded bracelets they look sexy but then they started producing necklaces for men if you don't know what rose gold and black is or you haven't checked out their site recently go ahead and click that link down below that link is a special link that's heavily discounted so when you land on the site everything's gonna be more affordable for you already you don't even have to apply a discount code you just add it to the cart and it's already discounted and if you don't believe me go to the site regularly and you're just gonna see how much more affordable it is if you click that link down below the fourth area you want to make sure it fits right is your thigh region now for me this is the area that i have the most trouble in because most jeans that are slim fit or skinny cut or straight cut are way too tight from the thigh region to the point that it exposes my leg muscles and it makes me look like I'm wearing men's leggings. However, there's an easy way to test to make sure that your jeans fit right from the thigh. All you want to do is put the jeans on and then pinch the side of your thigh. You should be able to grab anywhere from half an inch to an inch worth of fabric. This is the correct fit that's going to be comfortable throughout the day but also give you that trim cut. If you can't grab any, it's too tight and if it's more than that, well, you're going to need to size down. Number five is is a man's inseam. An inseam, just like it says, is the inner part of your seam. So usually when you buy pants, it'll be two numbers, 30, 32, 34, 34. That second number is the inseam, which is the measurement from the bottom part of your crotch all the way to the bottom part of the pants. And for guys, almost always all guys get this wrong. I don't know if it's a macho thing that they want to seem they're bigger than they are, but you will always see guys with jeans just bunching up all at the bottom. If this is you, 
your inseam is too large and you probably need a size one or two sizes back. The goal with jeans, you want maybe two if you're trying to stack it, but if it's more than that, it's way too baggy. Personally, I go for the no break look or the quarter break because it's the most versatile fit for me. Finally, number six, it's the leg opening of the jean. It's, in my opinion, the most important and often the one that's overlooked and no guy knows about. But that is the tapering at the bottom. For me, it needs to be nicely tapered because that's how you get to expose the shoes you're wearing and get a really clean look. Now, most department stores will never give you a nicely tapered pant. So your goal is to make sure it fits almost perfectly from all the other fits and then this last one almost always you're gonna have to tailor it personally i always get it tailored into a 13 inch circumference or six and a half inches across this is my preferred leg opening and the most versatile for me and that's basically it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to drop us a like down below also don't forget to check out our sponsor rose gold and black they're gonna be linked down below as well that's it for me today see you next time